Uh, this is uh, question eight now from June 2010, BY1. Um, we're looking at part B in this uh, video uh, tutorial, uh, but I want you to also look at question A as well, uh, which I've uh, gone through in, a, in another video tutorial. Um, uh, part A is looking at the cell cycle and mitosis. But part B, a very unusual question. Um, I was surprised when I first saw this question. Uh, they've not done anything like this before. Uh, they're asking you to describe the similarities and difference, differences in the structure of amino acids and nucleotides. I think that's quite unusual. Uh, you know, they've asked in the past to describe um, similarities and differences, you know, between carbohydrates and uh, differences and similarities between globular and fibrous proteins. But to, to state an amino acid and a nu nucleotide, I think, is unusual. And um, lots of people were put off by that and decided actually to do part A uh, on the, um, the cell cycle and mitosis. But I hope in this video tutorial to sort of point out to you that it's not that bad an essay, but it does require you to know quite a bit of detail about nucleotides and amino acids. Little intricate bits of detail um, is required to get uh, good marks in, uh, in this essay. Okay, um, so w let's start off with the similarities. Okay, um, basically... Um, DNA, as well as amino acids, all contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Okay, remember that there's uh, an amino group in uh, amino acids, and that contains nitrogen. And in DNA, they've got the nitrogenous bases, which also contain nitrogen. Uh, so that's one um, easy, uh, straightforward similarity to, to keep in mind. OK, um, the other thing then, of course, is um, nucleotides as well as amino acids can join together to form larger molecules. So when amino acids join together, they form polypeptides and proteins. Um, when nucleotides join together, they form a polynucleotide uh, or DNA or even RNA. OK. Um, so uh, there's there's some uh, similarities uh, uh, between um, nucleotides and uh, amino acids. Uh, I think there's a lot more differences between the two than there are similarities. Okay, uh, so some differences, of course, is um, nucleotides contain uh, nitrogenous bases. Okay, the bases can be pyrimidines or purines. All right. Um, the uh, amino acids contain uh, a, an, an amine group and a carboxylic acid group, okay, um, which um, nucleotides don't. Um, amino acids can have different R groups, remember, okay, there are 20 different type of R groups that uh, give each amino acid its unique properties, okay. Um, when amino acids join together, they form uh, peptide bonds, but when nucleotides join together, they actually form uh, phosphodiester bonds. Okay, um, so there's uh, uh, some some differences again. Okay, uh, and you can go on and on. You can talk about the base pairing um, occurring in um, in nucleotides. Okay, and uh, one important. Um, difference which which I think you really should try and write down in your notes here not many people are aware of this is that um, DNA does not contain any sulfur there's no uh, atoms of sulfur in DNA at all uh, but there is sulfur found in proteins because sulfur is a component of for example the cysteine uh, amino acid Okay, so that's one uh, key little feature I think you uh, you should bring out. Um, so there there are lots of other uh, differences that uh, we can write down. I'm going to write out an uh, an answer for you. We'll go through it, and uh, we'll look um, at the marking scheme as well. 
Uh, okay, uh, I've written out uh, an answer for this uh, question now. I've started off by stating uh, some similarities. I've talked about them all uh, containing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen, um, as well as uh, the nucleotides and amino acids being able to join together to form larger molecules. Okay, I've stated that uh, you actually make DNA and RNA from the nucleotides and you get proteins uh, from the joining of amino acids. Um, that, that is pretty much all, uh, the, uh, all the similarities really between them. Uh, I've said there are many differences now. Uh, a nucleotide of course has a pentosugar, a phosphate and a nitrogenous base. Okay. I've then highlighted about the pyrimidine and the purine bases, and I've named them. All right, don't 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 miss out uh, mentioning the names of these bases. Okay, uh, and I've also mentioned uracil, of course, which is found in RNA only. Um, I've said about the uh, complementary base pairing. All right, that's certainly an important part of the structure. Uh, here because um, nucleotides can join together by base pairing <clears throat> uh, and I've actually stated the base pairing rule as well okay which is always good to put in um, I've also mentioned about the hydrogen bonds between the uh, the bases okay and uh, as I mentioned earlier DNA contains phosphate while amino acids contain sulfur and I've highlighted again to the examiner that there is no sulfur in DNA and no phosphate uh, in amino acids. Okay. Right, uh, slight typo there. Okay, moving on, I've pointed out that there are 20 different amino acids, uh, but there are five different nucleotides. Remember, there are five different bases, um, and therefore you can have five different nucleotides. Okay. Right, moving on. Um, almost there. Um, I've then mentioned about the amino acids differ depending on their R group. Okay. Um, but all amino acids have an amine and a carboxylic acid group. Okay. And uh, lastly then, amino acids join together by peptide bonds, but nucleotides are joined by phosphodiester bonds. So the vast majority of that essay was really to do with the differences uh, between nucleotides and amino acids, okay? There are only a, a couple of similarities between amino acids and nucleotides. Okay, uh, let's pull up the uh, marking scheme uh, for that, okay? I don't think there's anything too uh, unusual in this marking scheme, okay? Um, I think you can see now that you really had to know the, the fine details of the structure of these uh, uh, nucleotides and amino acids to, to get good marks in this. All right. But it's just a case of trying to put in every relevant piece of information uh, just to ensure you can get uh, full marks there. So if I scroll uh, up a little bit now uh, so you can see the rest of the marking points. Um, Okay, so um, I hope that helped. All right, don't be afraid of questions like this. As long as you've prepared well, um, you, you should be fine on them. Okay, and that, and that ends uh, question 8B.